I think you're just excited for the same name so you won't forget. I won't forget. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I was just looking at Jason and I quit my mom yet. Uh, well, thank you everybody. Uh, once again, my name is Jason Pierce, and I always want to tell people how lucky I am to be the mayor of Eagle. Um, I take it as one of those things where, that to me, it's such a privilege to be to be the mayor of Detroit City. Uh, it's kind of interesting hearing Brian's story because I moved here in 2003, and I came here with no job. We knew nobody, brought my wife and two kids, and uh, we started a business pretty much the same as what you started. And I sold it in 2013, went to work for that company for six years, and then was elected in 2020 to be the mayor of Eagle. So, uh, you know, it's, it's amazing. I got involved with the community right away. What you guys do as a chamber is amazing, and how you support each other and do all that. What I've noticed over the years from the city is we've always had this great relationship with the city, but there's this disconnect that people don't understand that the, the chamber members are, you know, you guys are a group of people that pay in to support each other. Right, so you're not always, um, it's not, the city doesn't do everything on, with all the businesses and everything, you guys are supporting each other. So remember that when you're out there and you're looking for people to use for your businesses, and you always use chamber members as much as possible. So I, I was a member from 2004 all the way up until 2020 and then now with the city we are. So uh, it's a great organization and I love to see what it does. One of the things I really want to talk about that could affect everybody here um, and a lot moving forward is the city of Eagle got $6.5 million in ARPA money, which is the, the money that the federal government put aside. And for our population, that's what we, we receive. One of the things that we're looking at doing and we're going to be talking about in our council meeting tonight and some other stuff is creating a internet fiber network for the city of Eagle. Um, so there's some other cities in Idaho that have done that. So I, if any of you have your businesses right here in Eagle or if you live in Eagle, you'll know the internet is so um so what we'll what we're looking to do is i'll give you an example the city of Amman, idaho was able to provide one gig up and one gig down to its residents six years ago for 150 dollars a month now that sounds like a lot for a resident but as a business that is an extremely fast internet and a really good price this day six days later or six years later um, it's now $49.99 a month for that same product. So basically, as Brian was talking about, where internet is now, and your computers are now more of your sewer, your water, the essentials that you need, right, to not only run a business but to live, we are going to be bringing that as a city to the homes and businesses and people. So that's what we're going to be looking at doing. Um, we'll run a fiber loop throughout the whole city, and we will, like I said, basically be like sewer and water. We'll own fiber, and there will be companies that can put their services on that fiber. And we're looking at trying to get that one gig up, one gig down for now. I don't know if you know much about fiber, but most fiber can go up to at least 10 gig by 10 gig. So as things grow and people need more speed, we'll be able to do that as a city. But what we'll really do is we'll set us aside business-wise, right, the type of businesses that come here. We're also really looking to attract in the city those folks that work from home, right? I mean, Eagle has some unique characteristics about it. Uh, with the larger lots and from their homes, from, you know, just just having more rural feel. And if we can provide those services to those folks, we'll be able to keep that as we move on. And you don't always have to have those services bunched up, you know, with people that are crowded in the apartments and, and lots of townhomes and things like that. So we're looking forward to doing that as we um, move forward. So I want to kind of let you guys know about that. Keep watching that on the, on the perimeter of what's happening. Um, there'll be different ways that you'll be able to do it and when it'll come to different areas. But uh, we'll put together a plan now, and I think that'll be something that will really help the business community um, in the future. Uh, coming off Mondays, uh, we, we predicted we had about 9,000 people at the fireworks show on Friday night at Eagle Island State Park. Uh, and Eagle Fun Days itself is about 30,000 people for the Wet and Wild Parade that was downtown. Um, that brings a lot of folks into the city of Eagle that are supporting your businesses, they're doing things. Um, you know, we have, I don't know if any of you know, but we have all the booths that you can you can do for the, for the uh, fun days where you can pay to be down there and promote your businesses. We also have uh, Saturday market that we do every Saturday where you can do the same thing if you want to, to promote your businesses. Believe it or not, Saturday market, those vendors pay $15. That's all the city charges for them. But it really, we use it as an incubator for our businesses. Someday we want someone, 
you know, selling their cookies or selling their product or whatever they have at the Saturday market to have forward downtown Eagle. Um, we're going to have uh, Robin, our economic development person, come up here and talk about some of the things that are going on. Uh, we uh, are really trying to grow businesses in downtown. Um, our city right now is about 12% commercial and 88% residential. We're trying to get that to change a little bit, get a little more uh, commercial in here in business. You'll see the Pet IQ building that just opened up the other the other day over here. Um, that's a 54,000 square foot building, going to bring about 250 to 300 jobs. <coughs> the city of and uh, it was something that we uh, approved during our last 18 months. That there's been a change on the council, and you know it's just a great, great, great product. It's the type of businesses we want, right? We want those nice, clean. High paying jobs to come to Eagle, and we'll be looking to do that forever. Um, Robin's going to talk a little bit about the different um, areas in town that are going to be coming online as far as properties that are going to start being commercial areas uh, and some of the things that we've done on our website to kind of make it easier. We really want to make it so that when you guys need something, it's always been going to kind of like the planning and zoning or the building officials to get things done when you want changes to your building or you want new space. And we're really making it so now you'll go to economic development. I always say they're kind of the warm and fuzzy part of the city where you have planning and zoning in the building are kind of like black and white. You got to do it one way or the other. She will help find a way through the city to make sure that we can do things to really help you guys, you know, expand, you know, change the sign on your buildings, you know, promote things if you want to. So we're really looking forward to that kind of stuff happening through the city and really being business friendly with the city people. So I'm going to introduce Robin Collins. She'll take it from here. Does anybody before I, before that, any questions anybody has about anything? I can answer any of them. I'll be left over oysters. Uh, let's see, we didn't talk, so there was a Rocky Mountain Oyster feed we brought back this year for fun days. It was a fundraiser for the Special Olympics we did it on Saturday night. We ordered 5,000 pounds, uh, and I think we had about 50 pounds left. So not too much. So um, I think we're estimating we'll make about forty-five hundred, five thousand dollars for Special Olympics to that. So that was that was a good thing the community came out and supported. So any others? All right, Robin Collins. <laughs>